Today we're talking about the Clayton Dustmaster line of HEPA vacuum systems. These systems support one to three users and they're available with pneumatic or electric motors. These are the first choice for military or aerospace customers who need to safely capture dust or debris while sanding, grinding, drilling, or cutting. These are packed with features that make them ideal for hangars or back shops. These vacuum systems can be mounted on aircraft stands, connected to localized central vacuum piping, or mounted on man lifts or JLGs. Let's take a look at some of the features that make these systems the go-to solution for aerospace and military aircraft maintainers around the world. The large box on top is the consolidated tool caddy. This lockable enclosure houses a three-position hose storage reel. The reel can hold any combination of hoses from 10 feet up to 30 feet. Hoses can be rolled up or deployed using the retractable crank handle on the side of the unit. The caddy also has two tie-down points for use in preparing the unit for transport or storage. Inside the top cover is a tool storage area with two color tool control foam. This foam can be cut at our factory or at the customer site to shadow any combination of sanders, grinders, or other tools. Straps inside the lid can be used for storing hose support belts. Sturdy gas struts hold the lid open and prevent it from shutting unexpectedly. The next component is the tall cyclonic separator to the left of the tool caddy. This unit acts as a pre-separator, spinning out dust and debris before it gets to the vacuum filters. Captured material collects in a sturdy cloth filter bag inside of the filter box on the front. Below the filter box is a manifold with three compressed air couplers that supply air to sanders or air tools. Directly under the compressed air couplers are three self-closing vacuum inlets which accept work hoses or cleanup hoses depending on the task. The third component of the system is the vacuum generator. This vacuum was designed specifically for sanding and grinding operations and has features that make it user-friendly and reliable. The main compressed air inlet is sized for a three-quarter inch air line and we recommend using either a three-quarter or one inch supply line. The compressed air flows through a coalescing filter before entering the vacuum. Above the compressed air inlet is the on-off valve. This tube position valve allows the vacuum to be in an always-on position or an auto mode. In auto mode, the vacuum will turn on when a pneumatic tool is operated and will turn off after a brief delay when the tool stops. In the on position, the vacuum will run continuously. Below the valve is an adjustment dial which allows you to increase or decrease the delay time before the vacuum turns off after using a pneumatic tool. Also on this panel is a grounding jack which accepts a standard aircraft grounding plug. This allows you to connect a ground wire to provide a path for discharge of static electricity. Each vacuum ships with a 12 month filter timer card to remind users when to replace the HEPA filter. When the vacuum is first put into use, simply flip over the card and press on the silver button to activate the timer. The meter on the front of the card counts down months from 0 to 12 once the card has been activated. On the side of the vacuum is a gauge panel with a vent to allow the filtered air to exit the unit. At the top of the panel is a compressed air gauge which allows you to monitor the pressure in the auto system. This is really a diagnostic or a troubleshooting tool. At the bottom is a compressed air gauge which shows the pressure of the compressed air going to the vacuum and the tools. The large gauge in the middle is a mini helix or pressure differential gauge. This is used to measure the condition of the HEPA filter and pre-filter. If the gauges read in the red, change the pre-filter. If it still reads in the red after changing the pre-filter, it's time to replace the HEPA. With the tool caddy removed, you can gain access to the filter compartment. One of the interesting features of this vacuum is that the filters can be changed while the vacuum is running preventing dust or debris from escaping. With the vacuum running and the filter compartment open, there is a strong downdraft of air into the vacuum. This traps any airborne particles. The debris in the airstream is first trapped by the two filter bags, and any dust that passes through the bags or escapes during filter changes gets captured by the pre-filter. Any dust that is dislodged from the pre-filter during a filter change gets pulled into the HEPA filter, which lies behind it. Now let's set the system up for use. Start by connecting the ground wire to the vacuum. Push the plug in until you feel it snap into place. The other end of the wire is the alligator clamp. This should be connected to a bonding point or a grounding lug to provide a path for static dissipation. Now connect the 3 quarter inch compressed air line to the vacuum by pushing the coupler onto the plug. With the control in the auto off position, 
The vacuum will turn on when a pneumatic tool is activated and will turn off after a brief delay when the tool is stopped. To change the shutoff delay, adjust the dial below the control valve. If the delay needs to be increased, turn the dial clockwise. If the delay needs to be decreased, turn it counterclockwise till you get the results you desire. To bypass the delay feature, you can also turn the control to the on position and start the vacuum. Next, we're going to connect our vacuum hose. In this case, we'll be using an air vacuum work hose, which has the compressed air line running alongside the vacuum hose inside a protective braided sleeve. Remove the rubber dust cap from the metal sleeve and insert the sleeve into one of the vacuum inlets. Then connect your compressed air line to one of the couplers above the inlets. Next, connect your sander or shrouded tool to the other end of the air vac work hose. The sanders and tools have a threaded swivel connection. Simply thread the hose into the tool to complete the connection. Note that the thread on this hose is a reverse thread, so turn counterclockwise to tighten. Now connect the compressed air to the sander and the system is ready for use. Now we'll review changing the cyclone collection bag. To prevent dust exposure, keep the vacuum running during this procedure. Start by unlatching the cyclone compartment door, then open one or two of the vacuum inlets. This will break the suction and allow you to open the cyclone door. Open the door completely and allow the vacuum inlets to close. With the door open, you should be able to determine whether the bag is full. Wrap a disposal bag around your arms like a large mitten. Reach into the cyclone compartment and grasp the collection bag by the cardboard collar at the top. Keeping the disposal bag between you and the contaminated collection bag, draw the filter bag down off the fill tube and gather it into the disposal bag. As you secure the collection bag inside the disposal bag, be sure to keep the mouth of the disposal bag close to the cyclone compartment. This will help to ensure that any airborne dust that escapes will be captured by the airflow into the cyclone. Insert a new collection bag into the cyclone compartment. Draw the inlet collar upwards onto the fill tube and raise it until it meets the top of the compartment. Arrange the bag to be sure that all pleats are opened and that the bag is touching the bottom of the compartment. Close the compartment door and secure the latch. Now let's review the vacuum filter bag change. This should be performed after every 8 to 10 cyclone bag changes. You perform this operation with the compressed air connected to the vacuum. Start by unlatching the filter compartment and raising the lid 1 to 2 inches. Now turn the vacuum system to the on position. This will allow you to safely open the cover the rest of the way. With the vacuum running, there will be a strong downdraft of air into the filter compartment, which will capture any dust particles that escape during the filter change. Wrap a disposal bag around your arms like a large mitten. Reach into the filter compartment and grasp the filter bag by the cardboard collar at the top. Keeping the disposal bag between you and the contaminated filter, draw the bag off the inlet and gather it into the disposal bag. As you secure the filter bag inside the disposal bag, be sure to keep the mouth of the bag over the filter compartment. Any airborne dust that escapes will be drawn into the airstream and will be captured in the pre-filter. If there's any residual dust inside the compartment, wipe surfaces clean with a damp cloth and dispose of it as hazardous material. Take a new filter bag and insert the vacuum inlet into the cardboard collar on the bag. Slide the bag forward on the inlet until the collar is tight against the front wall of the vacuum. Now we'll review replacing the pre-filter. This should be done when the mini helix gauge on the side of the vacuum reads in the red or if the filter is visibly damaged or dirty. Begin by loosening the thumb screws on the pre-filter frame. Grasp the protective metal screen and slide it up and out of the frame. Wrap a disposal bag around your arms like a large mitten. Reach into the filter compartment and grasp the pre-filter. Keeping the disposal bag between you and the filter, slide the filter out of the frame and gather it into the disposal bag. As you secure the disposal bag, be sure to keep the mouth of the bag over the filter compartment. Any airborne dust that escapes will be drawn into the airstream and will be captured in the HEPA filter. Take the new pre-filter and check the label to determine the proper airflow direction. Insert the new pre-filter into the frame with the arrows pointing towards the HEPA filter. Slide back in the protective screen and then tighten the thumb screws to complete the filter change. Finally, close the filter compartment and secure the latch. This system and other configurations of the Dustmaster vacuums are currently being used by all branches of the U.S. military, many foreign militaries, commercial airlines, and commercial aircraft manufacturers around the world. To learn more about the Dustmaster line of vacuums, please visit us online at www.dustlessmadesimple.com or call us at 732-363-2100.